greed made a comeback on Wall Street. The Dow raced 619 points higher on Wednesday, its most emphatic point gain since the 2008 financial crisis. The S&P 500 soared 3.9% on Wednesday, its biggest one-day percentage gain since 2011. The Nasdaq surged 4.2% higher. The Dow's point gain was the third largest in its history. We were sorely in need of a pop after the drop said Sam Stuvel, chief investment strategist at S&P Capital IQ. An eye-popping $2.1 trillion of value was wiped out from the S&P 500 in just the previous six trading days alone, according to S&P Dow Jones indices. This is investors being opportunistic and buying on the weakness. Unless you think there's going to be some massive slowdown in the economy. All of a sudden equities at these levels look attractive again, said Laurie Hingle, chief portfolio strategist at State Street Global Advisors. There might be bargains to be had, given that for the first time in four years all three major US indexes had tumbled into correction mode, signaling a 10% decline from recent highs. The turbulent market moves recently showcased fears about how China's economic slowdown will impact the rest of the world. Global markets turmoil eases but global markets, other than China, seemed a bit calmer on Wednesday. While the Shanghai Composite retreated another 1.3%, Japan's stock market soared 3% and European markets held steady after Tuesday's big gains. Earlier this week China sought to calm turmoil in global markets by slashing interest rates. The hope is the moves will help stabilize China's economy and ease fears that the world's second largest economy is slowing drastically. Time for a rebound Tech stocks were at the heart of Wednesday's rebound. Shares of Netflix, Google and Amazon all rallied sharply. Other big winners include Abercrombie and Fitch and Express after both retailers reported profits that exceeded expectations. U.S. economy looks better than the stock market the recent American stock.